Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We ask the blessing in the reading of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Exodus 29. And thou shalt take the ram and the fat and the rump and the fat that are covered inwards and the liver and the two kidneys and the fat upon them and the right shoulder, for it is a ram of consecration. And one loaf of bread and one cake of oil bread and one wafer out of the basket of the unleavened bread that is before the Lord. And thou shalt put it in the hands of Aaron and the hands of his sons and shall wave them as a wave offering before the Lord. Aren't you glad we don't have to do any of these types of offerings uh, to the Lord now? Because Jesus, when he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. Uh, so a lot of people get caught up in ritual and things like that and want something more. You know what the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved. You can believe in his finished work, what he did on the cross, and you don't have to go through uh, legalism and ritualism. Now, this wasn't legalism and ritualism. They had to do these things uh, to stay uh, in the congregation of the people of Israel but still, they had to have an individual faith to be saved in those days. Uh, so they didn't do these t things to be saved. And now a lot of people are doing things to be saved. Uh, just because people did all these things, they weren't necessarily saved. They still had to have faith alone in the Messiah that would one day come. We have to have faith alone in Christ alone, what he did on the cross um, so a lot of people get caught up into, I need to go to church. I need to do this. I need, I need, I need. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. You need to trust him and what he did, his finished work on the cross. And that's it. Okay, uh, so they give other instructions for them. We're going to jump to verse 29. And the holy garments of Aaron shall be his sons after him to be anointed therein and to be consecrated in them. It was given unto Aaron and his sons and the Levitical line would to be priests and that would continue on for, uh, for the nation of Israel. And verse 32, and Aaron and his sons shall eat the flesh of the ram and the bread that is in the basket by the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. Now, this is a picture that we need to have Jesus Christ in us. 1 John 1, 7 says, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. If you've trusted what Christ did on the cross, and you're trusting Christ alone, you've received the Holy Spirit, you have Christ in you. Uh, Romans eight ten says, And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. If you have Christ in you, if you've trusted him alone, you've received the Holy Spirit. You should be growing in the Lord. You should be reading his Bible. Uh, but if you're not reading his Bible, uh, you're not going to grow. You're, it's like you're a little baby that's starving uh, for, uh, for the word and that baby, that spiritual baby needs to grow. Verse 33, and they shall eat those things wherewith the atonement was made to consecrate and to sanctify them, but a stranger shall not eat thereof because they are holy. Uh, today, Bible talks about communion. Uh, if a person takes uh, communion, if they uh, take the communion without being worthy, how is one worthy? You have to have trusted what Christ did on the cross. And then he said, eat and do this in remembrance of me. Uh, many people have made communion a ritual and they're not saved. And the Bible says they eat and drink damnation upon themselves. Uh, they need to be eating uh, and taking communion. Do this in remembrance of me is what Jesus said when he referred to that. It, they were supposed to take the bread and say, this is his body. They were supposed to picture that, you know what? He died on the cross for me. His body was broken for me. His blood was shed for me. That's why we uh, take communion. It's one of the ordinances uh, commanded by God to do to the believer. Um, jumping ahead, I want to look at uh, verse 39. Uh, they offered lambs, uh, for 38 actually. Now this is that which shall offer upon the altar, two lambs of the first year, day by day continually. They offered a lamb uh, morning and night, morning and night, a spotless lamb. They had to do that. In Micah, it talks about the tower of the flock, which is where they sacrificed a lamb every single day. Uh, that had to be something else. I believe the tower of the flock is where Jesus was actually born. That's what I believe that that's the manger in which he was born. Uh, the last verse in this chapter says, And they shall know that I am the Lord their God and brought them forth out of the land of Egypt that I may dwell among them. I am the Lord their God. Is Jesus the Lord your God? Is he your lamb? Is he your Passover lamb? Is Christ in you? That's what we want to ask. And if he is, then we should go and tell others because he's the only way to heaven. Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life.